Okay, this goes diagram shows a net. The net is of a sector and it's used to make a cone. Okay, so let's kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Cone looks something like excuse my dodgy drawing. Something like that. If you call that the center. That's the height. Well, if we look at this, this is going to be a sloping height. So for ours, it's going to be 10.3 centimeters there. And that's the radius there. Well, if we consider it, if we look at that, actually, this curved line there is actually going to make the base when it's turned into a, a cone. So that. Also, if we worked out this, and we know that's the total circumference, that's going to help us to find R. And if we can find R, that's going to help us to find the vertical height, not the sloping height, it's going to help us to find H in this diagram here. So, from this diagram here, the circumference or the arc, let's call it the arc, is a fraction of the uh, whole uh, circumference, and the circumference is really given by pi times diameter, so it's actually 120 times pi, which is 3.142, because that's for the whole circumference, we want a fraction of it, and our diameter is obviously 20.6, so let's do that, 20.6 times 3.142 times 120 divided by 360, or we could just do it as a third, we get this, we get the arc is equal to 21.57506667, uh, centimeters. But we also know from the cone, okay, that the circumference of the cone, which must be that answer, so the answer must be equal to pi times the diameter. So if we divide this answer by pi, divide it by 3.142, and that gives us the diameter is equal to 6.866666, and the 6 is keeping going. Ah, uh, that's good, yeah. So that means tells us the radius, if you divide that by 2, is 3.43. And the 3's keep on going, so I'm going to write better, write it. So that means the radius. So now, first of all, we knew the arc. We could work out the length of this, but that length was also the total distance around, which helps us find the radius of the cone. Once we've done that, let's switch to a red pen. We've now got a right angle triangle that looks like that. So we've actually got a right angle triangle that looks like this, where we've got 10.3 centimeters down there. We have 3.43 recurring centimeters down there, and we want to find the height of the cone. So let's just use Pythagoras. So 10.3 squared minus the answer we got, so don't round it, leave the answer in the calculator squared must be h squared so 10.3 squared minus answer squared we know that and then find the square root as well so square root the answer we know that therefore they know the height has got to be 9.71093313283 3, so that means the height is 9.71 centimeters, and that's the three second because so one, two, three, chop off there. That's the three significant figures. You might want to go back and look at this and how we did this, um, but you're going to do it in two steps. It's quite a few marks. Um, four, four marks to finish off. Okay, that's it.